What's up, everyone? Ah, on the treadmill again, Mark Lobliner, TigerFitness.com. Wow, man, this cardio is kicking my ass today. Check it out, I need a drink of my uh, protein. All right, so, got 45 minutes today. Here's the thing, John, um, my macros yesterday were giving me after cardio, 450 protein, 400 carbs, 65 fat. I filmed an entire day of eating. I'm going to upload today. Um, <coughs> excuse me, I was 224.2 this morning, 0.7 this morning, and since John isn't awake when I weigh myself, he said if I, w <coughs> whoa, just choked on my branch chains, if, branch chains are bad for you, um, if I woke up more than 245.2, 224.5, to do 45 minutes of cardio, if I wake up under that, do 30 minutes, so I was 0.2 pounds over, I have to do 45. Anywho, two things, a couple things. First off, never thought I'd say this, and I never thought I'd mention the name on my channel, but honestly, um, no bullshit bodybuilding, man. Ian McCarthy, thank you, seriously. I read your comment on, uh, on your fan page. It started with, I don't like Mark Lobliner. I really, really don't like Mark Lobliner, which is fine. But, and then he paid me a compliment for, uh, for my work and, and all the time and how I balance things. And i got to say, I'm humbled. Thank you. Um, seriously. You and I probably have a lot more in common than we both think um, as far as work ethic. Dude, I've said this before. And I'll say it again. I haven't really said anything much lately. But you're 19. I think you're 20 now, right? Um, the level of success and knowledge you have... You have a bright future ahead of you. I think we all know that. And um, if you keep working and learning, the world's at your fingertips, my man. I mean, ready to have a product on the market at 19? Thought I was the only one who started my career at 19. So, by all means, man, thank you. And uh, yeah, can't really say much more. Thank you. And uh, the, the respect is mutual. While we might not like each other, well, I don't, I'm indifferent. I could like you. Um, I think. The respect I have for you has always been there, and I never thought I minced words about respect. Certain things we disagreed on, but the respect is there, so hats off. Anyway, creatine while cutting. All right, check it out. I get this email a lot, probably daily, on the daily. Take it. See, here's the deal with creatine. I took creatine up through my show, so did my brother, so does Lane. We come in dry as get out. We come in dry. And uh, the reason you had a bunch of issues with creatine back in the day, when it first came out as phosphagen by EAS, um, you had a lot of knockoffs. A lot of stuff from China. Now, China makes some really good stuff. Let's be real here. Half the shit we have is from China. However, on creatine, there are a lot of impurities. And who knows what you were getting back when it first launched. I believe that was... Uh, 97? 19? I think it was 97. And, um, man, so you had that issue with creatine. I'm not, I'm going to fall if I try to talk while on this thing. So you had that issue with creatine. Then you had all these issues of bloating, this and that. Then people would start taking creatine while bulking. All right? So you're taking it while bulking. And then they take the dextrose loaded creatine, like Celtec. And I'm okay with Celtec. I like Celtec, but let's get into it. People would be gaining fat because they're eating like shit and they're bulking while on creatine. So they were like, oh, creatine's bloating me. No, your fat ass is bloating you. That's what's bloating you. So take creatine all throughout your cut, take it through the show. It's not gonna cause you to hold water, and the water it should cause you to hold is intramuscular, which is the good kind of water. And it's also gonna help you with training, performance, retaining muscle. Um, and also think about it, if you eat beef, Getting a ton of creatine, a lot of the creatine non-responders in the original studies were the ones who ate beef because beef has a lot of creatine in it. So with that said, yes, take creatine while cutting. Um, there's, it doesn't cause you to hold water. All right, and also, most of y'all are too fucking fat to even notice you're holding water because you're too fat. In my opinion, unless you're like six to 7% body fat, you ain't gonna notice water. You ain't going to notice it. Okay? Um, macronutrient ratios, I think they're irrelevant. You could start at a, a goal 
being around 40, 40, 20, or whatever. But at the end of the day, look at Van now. He's at like 25 fat, he's at like 300 carbs, and he's at like 300 protein. Me, I'm 450 protein, 400 carbs, this is yesterday, I changed every day, and 65 fat. Dude, that's a weak ratio as far as fat's concerned. So, ratios are irrelevant, just try to get 1 to 1.5 grams of protein per, per pound of body weight. Try and get your um, fat, I believe it's 0.5 grams per pound of body weight, but I just say generally between 35 and 75 grams usually for most. Um, just tailor that to what you prefer. If you're not hiring a coach, you should hire a coach because they'll do it for you. It's much easier that way. And then um, fill in the rest with carbs. Mostly whole foods because, well, they're full of micronutrients. Boom, done, okay? So, what else is there going on? Man, I'm going out on a meeting today. We're redesigning the packaging for MTS Nutrition. Um, a lot of good things going on. Australia trip plan for March of 2014 around the FitX Expo that year. The UK, I'll probably see you guys this year around October. Y'all at, um, at Iceberg Supplements, my man, my man Abs. Can't wait to see you guys. And um, we're just rocking and rolling. So um, I can't wait to show you guys the new packaging for MTS Nutrition. I think it's gonna be quite nice and an industry leader in the look of the packaging. And um, MTS Nutrition Way is back in stock. Got the exclusive flavor of Jekyll and Hyde. It should have been busy, really busy. And uh, I'm thankful that it's busy. I appreciate all your guys' support. And uh, yeah, can't really say much more. Baby Preston is healthy, happy. I'll have him in my update video later today. So if you guys need anything, email me, Mark, M-A-R-C, at tigerfitness.com. And um, once again, if he's still watching, Ian, thank you. Really, really. If you want to call a truce, that's fine. If not, it's all good, man. It's all good. All right, so you guys have yourself a great day. And remember, balancing life prep is not a game.